This episode is sponsored in part by Forever Hire. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. This is Michael Midnight here. I've actually been taking the past couple of months to do a uh, mini series of sorts for candidates, staffing, hiring managers, career coaches, and just all aspects of the hiring table process. I'm not a recruiter. Um, I've had probably the most amount of experience uh, being a graphic designing marketing consultant is touching base with people, looking for new work and new opportunities, and really utilizing uh, my experiences into those companies to make them uh, work better, optimize their their paperwork process, whatever it is that I can do, my skill set. So with that being said, I do try uh, to help people where I can, because you don't see a turtle in the middle of the road and just leave it to let it get run over, you pick it up and you carry it over. At least that's what I do. So this series is kind of a, a similar thing of sorts. Uh, with that being said, there are going to be times where I get questions. People reach out. I ask everybody if you have an interesting question. Uh, I try to answer as many as I can. So with that, there have been a couple of questions I'm going to do today as a QA. and uh, Completely random. I haven't really looked them up. I haven't studied them. Uh, I haven't really prepared for the answers. So they're just going to be off the cuff as we talk about it here and see what happens. So uh, the first question is actually from Christina. Christina writes, I, I'd like advice for career pivot strategies from consulting into a marketing strategy or business development job in the tech industry. What do you see as the pros and cons, and what are some challenges that I may face? Christina, I like this question. It's very much based on my experiences, so this is actually going to be a little bit better than I thought. When you're shifting industries, whoever that you work for is always going to ask why. So let's, I guess, focus on the cons first so we can finish with the pros. Um, you want to make sure that whatever that your move is, that it feels long-term and not scatterbrained. Uh, when you jump around different industries, you know, let's say you want to jump back into marketing or, or business or consulting, it doesn't feel right, it doesn't look right, and it's going to reflect accordingly on your resume. So just be sure that that is what you want to do. Um, from consulting, another thing that I would say is make sure that if there are any certifications that you're going uh, into that field for, you have, or at least you're on your way. So one of the things that I've done is I've jumped around and tried to do all sorts of jobs in, uh, over the years. Uh, I actually did go out to get my uh, security guard license. And one of the things that they tell you to do as you're looking for work is when you get that first job, it might just be a short-term contract, but the, the school that I went to, their, uh, their methodology was you say to the manager, my license is pending, which is technically true. You're applying for it, you're going through the process. So if there is your A+, plus, Network+, plus, Security+, plus, if you haven't gotten those already specifically, do that. If you haven't gotten certain certifications, go for that or at least make it sound like that you're on your way doing it. I don't mean make it sound like and then don't do it. Definitely do it, but look at and, and do the canvassing, doing the research of what that job is. There's a lot of transferable skills from what you are doing consulting and business-wise going into tech. It's just a different industry, but you're going to be doing the same type of support. Um, unless you're changing that. If you're going to be like an IT uh, system admin or network admin or DevOps, that's going to be a bit of a, of a pivot. But again, research, uh, definitely network with people that you can ask questions with. If there are other people that are already doing that job, ask them. You know, network with them. Sit and talk and say, hey, what do you do? And then that way you get an insight as to what it is you're going to expect with those types of jobs as you go in and start applying and, and bringing yourself more and more to get acclimated into that industry. But great question. All right, so the next question is from Diamond, and she asks, do I have the qualifications to be accepted into the marketing industry? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's an easy one. We, we all have qualifications because we market ourselves on a daily basis. So it's not necessarily the question about the qualifications. It's what is it about yourself that's going to make you stand out as a candidate for a company to hire you. Um, if you haven't been in the marketing industry and you want to try, keep in mind that there's going to be uh, different aspects of marketing that people like to phrase the title as. Uh, sales sometimes comes down for whatever reason as a uh, marketing job or marketing position. I see that way too many times. Sales is not marketing. Sales is sales. Uh, they are 
they work amongst one another. You know, they are complementary of one another. So is design or social media or things of that nature. They tippy toe into the marketing aspect, but it's not marketing specifically per se. Um, what I would look at is see about project management certification. Um, and again, like like I like I said with Christina, make sure that you are researching what it is that you're going to be doing. And again, talk with people who do similar things as yourself. See what certifications they have. See what way they went. See what their title is. See what their workload is. You may change your mind or you may uh, adjust. You may want to be a project manager as opposed to a marketing coordinator. And they're very similar. It really just depends on the company that you hire. But very good question. All right. So the next question is from Tiffany. She asks, I like to get advice on advancing in my field. All right. Well, that's short and sweet. Um, Tiffany, 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 Tiffany. So anytime that you're going to be uh, advancing in your field, you're going to want to get, again, as I've kind of said with Diamond and with Christina, uh, you're going to want your certifications. You're going to want to be able to show that employer, your boss, your hiring managers, whoever the directors are, uh, that you're not just rotting on their payroll. Um, it makes you also more valuable as an asset to the company. So if you get more certifications, if you're reaching out and trying to take classes or if there are, uh, sometimes there's like shops or events that happen to go on in your industry and you're proactive, maybe even sometimes uh, asking your boss, you know, hey, will they pay for the ticket? Maybe you just take yourself there and back, but if they pay for the ticket, it's kind of going halfway. It shows that you're making initiative and at the end of the day, you're advancing. You're becoming a more valuable asset. So once you start becoming too valuable in your field, then you can start getting offers and fielding the area if, if you feel that you can be making more money. Uh, do some research. You know, see, for example, uh, if I was in a senior marketing uh, coordinator position or a project management position, I want to see what certifications that other people are doing in my field that are making them more money. Uh, I have a very good friend of mine who's insane about their certifications. Like, literally, they just... They study up for one, and then they go and they take the test, and they have it. And they have, like, 15 certifications in a matter of a year. It's insane. Um, I don't think you'll be able to do that because she's almost like a prodigy, but uh, just making that effort, it just shows that you are proactive about your own work experience and that they've made the right choice. And it makes it easier to have that conversation when it comes time for a pay raise. Uh, taking on more opportunities, you are more valuable as an asset to the company, and if not, you already know where your assets are when you go to you know, make that next move. So that wasn't really that bad. Uh, I should probably do this more often. It's a helpful Q&A. It does help people who are asking questions get uh, answers. Sometimes I post these up on LinkedIn. I just felt like this was a little bit easier. Um, and again, if you have questions, feel free to email, comment them below, uh, reach out to me on social media. Uh, there'll be links in the description below if you are uh, looking to connect or if you do have questions. Also, be sure to check out the uh, newest episodes on the mini series for the podcast for candidates and staffing. Uh, a couple of new guests. Uh, coming out in the next couple of days. There's a new episode just about every other uh, week. And we have a main series, Mike Tech Studios podcast as well, for you to check out about marketing, business, customer service, topical things. So check them out. Let me know your thoughts and uh, tune in next time. Is So I can't help you directly with that, but what I can do is as far as for... How's it going? Morning. Morning, sir. Uh, chances are, if you haven't, you're going to have a more difficult time in doing this. Of course. Have an airplane go by. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> we got wind, we got airplanes. Why not? A whole bunch of wind. And another airplane. You've got to be kidding me. A mini series that I'm producing, uh, that I'm producing, that I'm producing, that I have them.
know, hey, this person's growing, they're learning, they're developing. Um, hopefully you can hear me with, uh, of course you can't because it's windy and we got airplanes. Cool. Go to, you know, make that next move. Questions that I've answered, but what questions do you have? How can I help you? Who can I connect you with? I, I swear to God, there's like... I just think it's airplane day. <laughs> I just think it's airplane day. This is, this is... This has to be... This has to be like the 15th airplane in 15 minutes. This is only a 10 minute recording. <laughs> and there's and there's been more airplanes here than there have been through any recording that I've ever had. This is, this is, this is funny. Let's try again.